In one of his recent interviews, Elon Musk hinted at 621 miles of range for the Tesla Semi, which does not seem to be that preposterous a number given Tesla's new in-house battery cell and battery pack technologies. Tesla's CEO confirmed the Tesla Semi would have 4,680 advanced Tesla cells arranged within a battery pack of a new structural design first unveiled at Tesla's Battery Day. There was also some information divulged about the battery cell energy density of Tesla Semi, which, according to Elon Musk, should be around 300 watt-hours per kilo. Welcome to another business automated video. Before we begin, make sure to like it. It helps our channel to grow and bring you more and more informative videos just like this one. Now, let's get back to our main topic. Tesla announced its all-electric Class 8 semi-truck back in 2017. The company said that the production units of Tesla Semi would have a capacity of 80,000 pounds and come with batteries of two different sizes. The starting price for the 300-mile range version was set to be $150,000 and that for the 500-mile range version was $180,000. After a year, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk made a bold claim that during the testing stage, his company had discovered a possibility to extend the range of Tesla Semi up to 600 miles. U.S. semi-trucks have a loaded weight limit of 80,000 pounds. Therefore, both weight and load capacity of any semi-truck have a great importance. The less the weight of the truck is, the more it can carry and the more profits generate for its owner. One of the major problems that is likely to arise with any electric semi-truck is the influence of its battery weight on the load capacity. Powerful batteries tend to weigh a lot, which increases the total weight of the vehicle and, consequently, reduces the amount of payload it can be used to transport. It would not be an exaggeration to say that this is an extremely negative factor. Elon Musk himself admitted this fact and stated that the Tesla Semi would have around one ton less of the cargo space than a diesel truck. However, taking into account the fact that the Tesla Semi is going to be an eco-friendly vehicle, it would be a small price to pay for the sake of Mother Nature, would it not? The time when the large-scale manufacturing of the Tesla Semi actually starts is getting closer, which explains why Tesla has been testing it in different trucking operations. In November of 2020, a Tesla Semi was seen in Tesla's Fremont factory, being driven alongside a number of conventional semi-trucks. The Semi was used for pulling a trailer laden with concrete weights, and judging by the overall look of things, it was doing a pretty decent job. In the third quarter of 2020, a Tesla Semi was engaged in the process of delivery of Tesla Model 3 vehicles to their owners. In the second quarter of 2020, Jerome Guillen, Tesla Automotive President, shared a post via his LinkedIn account that read, quote, The space alien did come to rescue the dinosaurs, end quote, and showed a Tesla Semi between two conventional trucks while engaged in some sort of a major work as a part of a larger fleet. Many US and Canadian logistics companies have already booked a lot of Tesla semis since its launch in 2017. By mid-January of 2018, around 450 semis had already been booked and by the end of the first quarter of 2018, Musk boasted 2,000 pre-orders of the Tesla semi. We should emphasize, however, that we only know about the total of 745 pre-orders of the Tesla semi by what we would call notable companies. The pre-order price was fixed at $5,000 at the launch time, yet later in November of 2017, after receiving a lot of positive feedback, the base Tesla Semi reservation price was increased to $20,000. Should someone have wanted to book the Tesla Semi Founder Series, he would have had to pay the full amount of $200,000 in advance. The largest Tesla Semi pre-order came in November of 2020, when a US and Canada-based logistics company Pride Group Enterprises booked 150 Tesla Semis and expressed the intent to purchase 350 more Semis, which potentially boasts the establishment of a 500-unit-strong Semi vehicle fleet. 
the booking of 150 Tesla semis potentially cost Pride Group Enterprises at least $3 million, which is a great financial success for Elon Musk's company that is poised to make between $22 and $100 million, depending on the final number of the vehicles purchased and their configuration. At the 2017 Tesla Semi unveiling, the company said that the electric semi-truck would be on sale in 2019. Yet this deadline has been shifted to the late 2020, when the company was supposed to be ready for the initial production of its semis. The final delay, however, pushed the production start to 2021. In one of his memos to Tesla staff sent in mid-2020, Elon Musk stated that, quote, it is time to bring Tesla Semi to volume production, end quote. Yet the exact time for such a production to start was not indicated. Tesla's CEO, however, has confirmed that the semis are going to be made at the company's new Gigafactory being built in Austin, Texas. The Tesla semi price is high compared to Class 8 diesel semi trucks, but the advantages the vehicle potentially offers lie in the operational costs. Tesla claims that Semi will actually pay off the difference in purchase price within just two years of its operation. Potentially, Tesla Semi owners will save around $200,000 in the million-mile life of their electric truck. The company says that Semi will consume less than 2 kWh per mile. The operational cost of the electric Semi is $1.26 per mile, compared to diesel Semi trucks, which have an average operating cost of $1.51. Nowadays, electricity is simply cheaper than diesel fuel, and to make the former more available to its customers, Tesla has been building a network of charging stations running on renewable energy sources. As to the powertrain of the Tesla Semi proper, the all-electric Class 8 Semi truck will have four independent electric motors. Each motor will be connected to one of the four rear wheels. Though Tesla has not rolled much information about the specifications of motors, some sources claim that the Tesla Semi motors will be the same as those of Tesla Model 3. Model 3 motor, mind you, produces 300 horsepower and 550 pound-feet of torque which means that four motors linked together can easily generate a minimum of 1,000 horsepower and 2,000 pound-feet of torque. The Tesla Semi is not a sports vehicle, yet in unloaded state it can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5 seconds, thanks to the instant power supply from its batteries. Even when fully loaded, the Semi can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds, which is an incredibly good performance for a Class A Semi truck. The Tesla Semi, therefore, is 3 to 5 times as quick as the diesel powered truck. Even though trucks are usually assessed in terms of the fuel economy they are capable of delivering, a quick acceleration can also give the user a lot of advantages. Thus, quick acceleration semi trucks can help in maintaining the flow of traffic. They will reduce the chances for congestions arising behind slowly moving diesel trucks. The Tesla Semi can also boast some serious uphill hauling skills as well. On a 5% grade, which is one foot rise for every 20 feet of displacement, a fully loaded 80,000 pound Tesla Semi can maintain a speed of 60 miles per hour. On the other hand, the fully loaded diesel semi truck can only go 45 miles per hour on a 5% uphill grade. Tesla Semi has been designed with an extremely aerodynamic shape, which gives it a drag coefficient of 0.36, which means its aerodynamics are even better than a 2 million Bugatti Chiron. The Tesla Semi, like other Tesla vehicles, will come equipped with sensors and hardware that will help its achieving a future driving autonomy once the technology has been fully established and all the approvals from government granted. For now, these sensors and hardware will provide Semi with safety and driver assistance features like obstacle recognition, forward collision warning, lane keeping assist, automatic emergency braking and wireless communication. Once the autonomous vehicles are actually allowed on roads, Tesla will activate the proper system in the Semis via an over-the-air update. Especially for the Tesla Semi charging, Elon Musk's company is planning to build a network of mega chargers that will add 400 miles of range to a vehicle in just 30 minutes. The mega chargers will be able to charge a vehicle at 1 megawatt. Most such stations will be solar powered, which will decrease the recharging costs. Tesla will also install mega chargers at their customers' fleet centers. 
Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. You can also go to our Business Automated channel profile to see if we have posted another video update on this topic. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on another Business Automated video.